Hi, it's Michael from Talify, and today I'm going to be breaking down UML diagrams. Before we get started, let's define what a UML diagram is. UML stands for Unified Modeling Language, which is just a fancy way to say these diagrams are visual representations of business processes. UML is one of, if not the most, popular business modeling technique. By diagramming business processes instead of verbally describing them, we are able to see more clearly potential flaws or errors within processes or software. These diagrams can outline the basics of a process, provide the entire blueprint, or even serve as a pseudo-programming language. Different processes call for different types of UML diagrams. The most broad classification of UML diagrams is whether they are behavioral or structural. Within these two umbrellas lie all different types of UML diagrams used to represent all different types of processes. These include activity diagrams, which are used to describe the flow of different activities and actions, timing diagrams, which relate objects and processes to their respective timelines, and deployment diagrams, which are used to visualize the relationship between software and hardware. UML diagrams can be constructed by hand or online. The construction technique is usually just personal preference, but more complicated diagrams or diagrams that need to be widely distributed are more likely to be constructed online. UML diagrams are a great way to visualize processes and help to smooth any wrinkles that may have gone unnoticed verbally. 